Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now it's a big one this episode because in last episode, in the last episode, we started planning out this and getting metal and all that jazz to prepare for the next build. So in this episode, I want to do a lot. I want to get this basement or ground floor, whatever you want to call it, I want to get this done and I want to get the first floor done and we're just in time for a drought so we've got a lot so i've built a little um outpost here i've been sending it some resources some dynamite some planks some food and water and i have been making loads and loads and loads of dynamite look at that 180 dynamite we've still got 364 uh, pieces of paper so we can still make it a decent amount of dynamite more not that we'll need that much for now we will eventually because i want to blow up all this outer rim as well to make it deeper and i also want to see if i can block one more level it doesn't look like i can but i think that is the bottom level it, i don't think that we can block any less than that so we might not be able to block any deeper but that's fine and also good news good news good news Got a comment from ASD. Um, sorry if I said that wrong. If it was different, it's just, I'm just taking it from the top of my head. But yeah, from ASD, I believe that there's an invisible wall behind this uh, pieces of the things that produce water, basically. That means we can build a dam. We can build a massive dam, maybe out to here, so we can last any sort of drought and we can get a constant flow of water. Also, um, I've got another comment from, and I'm I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher this name, Itoli, about um, scrap and sending loads of people over there, and at night time sending them back. Now that is an amazing idea. The only reason why I can't do it is because when I'm farming off camera, I'm normally not on my computer. I normally go work or do other things and have to leave my computer on auto mode, basically. And a lot of the times I come back and they've died of old age. <laughs> so I don't really have time to change them back and forth every night. But that is a great idea, especially if you want to speed things up. Okay, so we're going to turn this off. This just finished. But we don't actually need that on right now while we've got power. I've got nearly 2,000 power coming through. Got this little power contraption as well. So now let, let's go. Let's Let's do this. All right, so I'm going to migrate um, a few people over. Let's see, I've got one unemployed. If I do that, I've got three unemployed. I want four. Migrate four to district four or district three. And then we'll turn that back on. Turn that back on for when children are born. All right, so they should be uh, starting this bad way so what I, what I did have this open before but I've decided to close it and make a little path over so I'm going to prioritize all this so they can start placing the dynamites because the dynamites is the most important thing right now and if we get all of that I am going to slowly slowly Gonna build that over. So I'm gonna let them place all that down and I'll see you guys in literally a second. And just like that, these dynamites are done. Now I did try to blow up the next level, but it's too low. You can't blow up any lower than this. So let's set off this chain reaction. <laughs> Frame rate, rest in peace. All right. So this is gonna be our playground. I will mostly get rid of this because to get into this town, we're gonna need uh, we're gonna use bridges basically. And this town, I'm hoping to will hold about 300 beavers. That's the plan. That is the plan. So what I want to do first is this bottom area is mainly gonna be farm area and maybe a few trees. They're not gonna need many trees because they're not gonna be using them too often apart from when they're cooking basically um 
everything else they they just won't be building much because it should be all built before they really actually move in so the main area down here is going to be mainly farm area but we've got to be careful because the way i want to build the tower is i want to have um platforms starting at three levels high so i'm going to start doing that now but i also want to be careful because it's going to take up a lot of the room so we won't have much to play with when it comes to farming now i will try and make something out here where we can farm uh aquatic stuff but i'm not sure if i'll be able to do that because you can't farm on levees so i don't know how i'm going to make aquatic farms because they're going to be one tile high of water which we're going to have around three or four towers high so there's a lot of um there's a lot of little things you need to think about so maybe i should get down farming areas first now if it's holding 300 beavers it's going to need a decent amount of farming area um and we're mainly going to be using wheat because that turns into bread which is, I, I feel, the most efficient way to um, feed the beavers. So let's get some wheat down. And it's mainly going to be on the edges. If we do something like... Oh, and, and more. I don't want to use irrigation, as in these towers. I want to use a channel. Now, because we're going to be under sea level, if we use a floodgate, it will just flood everything. But we're still going to use a floodgate. <laughs> we're still going to use a floodgate. But, 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 we've got this new, this new building that will help us. And I needed this on my last playthrough. Um, should we put some here as well? Yeah, something like that. Oh no, I can't blow up underneath anymore. Hmm. Hmm. So it will be irrigation towers. Ignore everything I just said. Ignore everything I just said. All right, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. If we could blow up one more, that would have been amazing. But we can't. I could. I could use levees. That is a possibility. will take up a lot of space. Hmm. It will take up a lot of space. I think it will take up too much space than what it's worth, to be honest with you. Can I put uh, platforms on top of levees? I don't know if I can. I can. Oh, we could use levees. Okay, let, let's let's plan this out and let's see how it looks. Okay, so we can do something like this. So I'm gonna have the water flow through here, and then I'm gonna have a mechanical water pump. Obviously, there's a path there now, so we can't actually do it. But I put the top here to pump the water out, so it keeps the flow going yes i am happy with that i am happy with that and to help with that we can put platforms like so whoops i don't need that one so that we can still build on top and it doesn't affect the tower that we're going to make that's pretty amazing it's our little sort of underwater or under town sewage system but it's not sewage it's clean water for uh for watering our plants <laughs> so yeah that's great i like it we're actually going to need to delete this because the pump needs to get in there okay cool so now farming so we're gonna need some wheat i'm gonna put it like this Drought has started and we need 
ways to get over there. So we could put something like this. Now this might change because we may use another system to get over. Now I want to start building the actual first floor of the tower because I don't know how much space I'm going to need. So I want it to be three high. So it's like a level with this wall. And I might put this wall up by one. Something like that. Again, the, um, the spacing might change depending on how we build this tower. Um, I do want to leave a little gap there. And then we're going to use the double platform to deal with this. Okay, it's a bit on this side. I could actually go one more here, couldn't I? But this is definitely not enough food. Um, we're going to definitely need more food. So the tower might shrink a bit. Okay, I like that. I'm happy with that. So we're going to have 300 beavers and the first floor, I kind of want to be the housing district and district center. So district center is going to go pretty much, I don't know if I want to put it in the middle because there may be a pole, uh, like a a spine, as you call it, in the middle, where it can allow power to go up to the whole tower. And so I may put it like this. Oh, it's off center, doesn't it? If I do that, it's because this is not calculated properly, but hey ho. Um, because then we're going to have the bridge coming along like that must be separated by a gate okay district gate okay cool that's fine that's fine in fact let's put a district gate right here we can change that a bit later on but just to get it down Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So that'll sort of be the entrance to the town. We're going to make it a bit more jazzy a bit later on. And we're going to need housing for 300 beavers. So these large barracks, they do 16. What's 300 divided by 16? Let the trusty calculator take control. 300 divided by 16 is 18.75. So we could do 19 of these houses. So I'm going to try and figure out a nice little pattern for that. And um, yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've managed to put exactly 19 houses here. Oops. I have moved this back. Actually, let me put a path back on that one. And uh, there we go. And I had to move some platforms forward. I also deleted this one. It was just out of line. So I think our tower is going to be sort of this size going up. So the next thing I want to do while we're here is start getting access to the second floor. Uh, let's get that. And which is mostly going to be a, a floor for storage and maybe some production as well. 
Um, or maybe even kitchen. What's wrong with? That's gonna be like that. That's gonna be like that. And that's gonna be like that. So that will need actually. Yeah, I think we've got by a three. We do something like this. We do something like that. That won't work. <laughs> that would not work. Um, we need to do this first, then this, then this. Okay, that will work. That, that, and that. And I'll most of be change this to start going up in the middle. It's just this one had a bit of a struggle. So I don't know if I'll keep the stairs on the outside, maybe on, only on the first floor, but on the other floors, it may be a little bit different, but let's see, let's see. I do want to kind of make it look kind of nice. Yeah, okay, I do want more pathing as well. Because it will uh, affect on how high we can go. How, what is this house? This is eight and that's 16. So how many of these can I get in here? Three. But they're a little bit taller right now. <laughs> a little bit taller, they're a lot taller. Hmm. Should I do something like that? Are they solid? They are solid. So I do want to get rid of this one. And put some pathing around here so they can go straight up there. I'd have to get rid of all of this actually. <laughs> so we need to get another 35, I believe. So there was five here. Oh no, we need a lot more. Five times 16 is a lot. Let me calculate that quickly. Five times 16 is 80. So we need another 10 of these. Oh, they're thinner as well. They're pretty good, to be honest with you. That is a we could do something like that. They take up some such little space. I like I like these houses. And then we can put um Maybe some stuff here, just to make things nicer. It means we need to go up higher, which I'm not too fussed about, to be honest with you. I actually like the fact that we can go up higher. Can I make... No, I can't make a circle stairway there. This, this needs to go there. Like that. Like that, and like that. Cool. Um, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Increase pathing quite by a decent amount. And it just means we would need to go a little bit higher. So something like this. All right, I like it. There we go. <laughs> This is gonna be absolutely massive. I love it. I love it. All right, how much do I need? Two blocks? Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna fill this out when I get back to you. And there you have it. So this is gonna be the first floor and this is gonna be the basement. I need to find a way to get down there, actually. <laughs> I need to find a way to get down there. But we can do that, we can do that. We must do it here and I'll get some farmhouses in here. So about, let's say, 
Okay. Like so. That can't fit there. But we can put enough one here. And we can make a pass over there. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. I like it. And we can put... We might grow different crops. Actually, I need to delete that. All right, let's put some wheat over here and over here. I might change this pass over to inside because I kind of want all of this to be crops. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, let's get this deleted. Let's get some more wheat over there. Okay. So that is how it looks so far. So I'm going to let them finish that. And I will see you guys in a sec. And there you have it. It's pretty much complete. They're just doing the last little bits down here. Ooh. That, that, that did not take that long to make. Only um, a couple of days. <laughs> but it is finally done. The first floor and pretty much the basement. Only thing is we've got to remove this water, which should evaporate over time and fill up these last little bits, which are going to be done in no time. Whew. So in the next episode, we're going to be building the second floor, which is going to be, I'm thinking storage because a lot of the storage has um, solid attribute on it which means it can be stacked and we need to stack at least one more floor before we start using things like production and food which can't be stacked upon so yes i can't wait for this pill to be done this is going to be amazing so this is going to hold 300 weavers now this is not going to be the last build of this series this is this remember this is a thousand beaver built uh, series we're going to be building a mining shack over here with about 100 beavers because we're going to have a lot of production as well and maybe a lot of power because I'm looking at this ravine here I think it's called a ravine and I think we can use this a lot to make a lot of power that can supply the whole map with power we're also going to make maybe around here I'm not sure where yet but we're going to make uh, beaver eats it's a farming district that's going to give food to every district in the map now each district is going to be able to make its own food and supply itself with a bit of food but the actual district for farming will be supplying the majority of the food and that's going to have around 200 beavers then we're going to have a um a breeding pod district that's just going to supply all districts with uh, beavers and we're going to have another few districts just to add up to a thousand beavers now i don't know if i just said this i put this here for temporary reasons just to help them build out the place but here or here i'm thinking of putting something like that how does that look yeah and maybe out here i'm gonna put some other planks or platforms and put this statue not sure yet not sure but we're gonna get there we're gonna slowly get there I need to put another way up as well, somehow. Don't know how I'm going to do that. Because I want the pathing to be really good. Because we're going to go pretty high. It's going to at least go to another one, two, maybe two or three more levels. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.